National parks are for more than just summer hiking. Break out of your cold weather hibernation and visit these seven parks that are at their best in winter. Number seven, Yosemite National Park. Enjoy a side of history with your skiing at Yosemite Ski and Snowboard Area, California's oldest downhill skiing area. Located off of the park's Glacier Point Road, lifts here serve 10 runs, and there are also more than 90 miles of marked trails for cross-country skiing or snowshoeing. For an unforgettable winter experience, you can even cross-country ski a 10.5-mile trail to Glacier Point, which overlooks Yosemite Valley, Half Dome, and Yosemite Falls. Famous for its spectacular, towering granite formations, Yosemite is the nation's fourth most popular park. Number 6. Olympic National Park Olympic National Park on Washington's eponymous peninsula is one of only three national parks that has a full ski area in winter. 
The Hurricane Ridge Ski and Snowboard area has one lift and two rope toes and operates from mid-December through March depending on conditions. Ski here and you'll be able to brag, I skied in the Olympics without technically lying. At just shy of one million acres, Olympic National Park sprawls over three types of ecosystems, Pacific shoreline, glacier-clad mountains, and forested valleys. The 73-mile coastline is the longest undeveloped stretch in the lower 48, and just one of the reasons that the UN declared it both a World Heritage Site in 1981 and an International Biosphere Reserve. At its heart is the 7,979-foot Mount Olympus, the highest peak in the Olympic range. Snowmelt from Olympus and its surrounding peaks feed 11 major wild whitewater rivers, often described as radiating out like spokes on a wagon wheel. Spend a morning walking through the trails in the Ho and Quinault rainforests and take in the beauty of moss-covered trees and bright green plants. Despite its proximity to the metropolitan Seattle area, most of the park has seen very little human intrusion. Roads only skirt its exterior, while the vast interior is roadless and perfect for backcountry exploring by hiking or kayak. Number five, Death Valley. Death Valley is the hottest and driest place in North America and has set the world record for the highest air temperature with a whopping 134 degrees Fahrenheit. It is the largest national park outside of Alaska and, at 282 feet below sea level, includes the lowest point on the continent. Unsurprisingly, it's not a place you want to visit in the summer. In the winter, you'll get mild temperatures that rarely drop below freezing, plus smaller crowds. The weeks after Thanksgiving and before Christmas are the least busy times of the year, according to the National Park Service. The park's geography is as foreboding as it is mesmerizing. Sand dunes roll for miles as naked mountains tower in the distance. Sedimentary badlands, volcanic craters, and cinder cones appear seemingly out of nowhere. Many of the park's features bear morbid monikers, such as Coffin Peak, Badwater, and Furnace Creek, but the names belie an ecosystem that has adapted and managed to thrive in this hostile environment. Number four, the Everglades. Winter is the best time of year to visit Everglades National Park, as December through April is the dry season. Spanning 1.5 million acres of southern Florida, Everglades is the third largest national park in the continental United States, behind Death Valley and Yellowstone respectively, protecting what is left of a crucial wetlands that was once nearly four times its current size, but that has been lost to development. You'll usually have temperatures in the upper 70s with low humidity, the biting insects that can be prevalent in the summer are gone, and lower water levels make it easier to spot wildlife. This so-called River of Grass is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an international biosphere reserve, and a wetland of international importance, one of just three areas in the world holding all three distinctions. It is home to more than 70 endangered and threatened species, and is the only place in the world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. Number three, the Grand Canyon. While the canyon itself was formed as recently as five million years ago, the walls of the canyon, eroded over millennia by the Colorado River, reveal a layered timetable of rock that, at the bottom, is nearly two billion years old. Though dammed from above and below, the Colorado River runs uninterrupted for 277 miles throughout the park. Approximately 5 million people visit the Grand Canyon every year, but only about 10% of visitors come during the winter. Although the North Rim is closed in the winter, the South Rim is completely open year-round, and the shorter days bring a soft, beautiful light to the canyon. Certain roads that are closed to personal vehicles in the summer reopen, weather-dependent, for the winter, allowing you to explore at your own pace. Temperatures on the South Rim are generally cold, but if you venture to the canyon's floor, the weather is much warmer, reaching up to 60 degrees during a winter day. Whether you hike deep into the canyon or simply snap some photos, travelers agree that the Grand Canyon is a must-see that will leave you speechless. Number two, Big Bend National Park. Big Bend National Park serves as a border between the United States and Mexico and offers a unique way to cross between the two countries. Visitors can pay $5 to be ferried across the Rio Grande on a small boat, or you can walk across for free. 
at your own risk and only at designated areas where the water levels are low. Winter is one of the best times to visit Big Bend National Park, as the temperatures average around 60 to 70 degrees during the day, whereas in summer, it can get dangerously hot. And finally, number one, Mount Rainier National Park. Embrace winter at Mount Rainier National Park, which has a designated snow play area where you can go sledding or tubing. Ranger guided snowshoe walks are also available, as are plenty of trails for cross-country skiing. Mount Rainier, an active volcano that is surrounded by glaciers, rises majestically above the park, at times wearing a shroud of mist around its peak. Visitors can enjoy the many trails and scenic drives the park offers. According to one TripAdvisor traveler, the scenery is absolutely breathtaking. Even if you just drive through the park and stop at the lookouts, you will be amazed at the views. Who knew these seven national parks could double as winter wonderlands? Comment down below which park you'd like to visit this winter, and if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Smarter Travel on YouTube.